Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wolf. Today's read aloud is How Big is a Foot? Written and illustrated by Rolf Myler. Dedication. To the wonderful metric system without whose absence in this country this book would not have been possible. Once upon a time there lived a king and his wife the queen. They were a happy couple for they had everything in the world. However, when the queen's birthday came near, the king had a problem. What could he give to someone who had everything? The king thought and he thought and he thought until suddenly he had an idea. He would give the queen a bed. The queen did not have a bed because at the time beds had not been invented. So even someone who had everything did not have a bed. The king called his prime minister and asked him to please have a bed made. The Prime Minister called the Chief Carpenter and asked him to please have a bed made. The Chief Carpenter asked the Apprentice and told him to make a bed. How big is a bed? asked the Apprentice, who didn't know because at the time nobody had ever seen a bed. How big is a bed? the Carpenter asked the Prime Minister. A good question, said the Prime Minister, and he asked the King, how big is a bed? The king thought, and he thought, and he thought, until suddenly he had an idea. The bed must be big enough to fit the queen. The king called the queen. He told her to put on her new pajamas and told her to lie on the floor. The king took off his shoes and with his big feet walked carefully around the queen. He counted that the bed must be three feet wide and six feet long to be big enough to fit the queen including the crown, which the queen sometimes liked to wear to sleep. Ah, there's the bed. They used the king's foot, and it's one, two, three feet wide, and one, two, three, four, five, six feet long. The king said thank you to the queen, and told the prime minister, who told the chief carpenter, who told the apprentice. The bed must be three feet wide and six feet long to be big enough to fit the queen, including the crown, which she sometimes liked to wear to sleep. The apprentice said thank you and took off his shoes, and with his little feet he measured and made a bed to fit the queen. Boys and girls, do you see a problem here? Is the apprentice's foot and the king's foot the same, or are they different? Hmm... When the king saw the bed, he thought it was beautiful. He could not wait for the queen's birthday. Instead, he called the queen at once and told her to put on her new pajamas. Then he brought out the bed and told the queen to try it. But the bed was much too small for the queen. The king was so angry that he immediately called the prime minister, who called the chief carpenter, who called the jailer, who threw the apprentice into jail. The apprentice was unhappy. Why was the bed too small for the queen? Boys and girls, I think we need to use our brain power to help the apprentice get out of jail. Why do you think when the king measured three feet wide and six feet long, and the apprentice measured three feet wide and six feet long, the beds were so different? When you make your footprint today, are your feet like the apprentice's foot or the king's foot? And is your parent's foot like the apprentice's foot or the king's foot? How can your footprints help solve this problem? Tune in tomorrow for the rest of the book. Bye.